Hi, I'm Pat Patterson at Backblaze, the astonishingly easy cloud storage solution. I'm going to show you how to backup data from your Synology NAS to Backblaze B2 cloud storage in just a few minutes. Now, this video covers Synology's Hyper Backup app. Synology also has a Cloud Sync app that you can use to get your data into B2. To decide which one to use, it's important to understand the difference between backup and sync. Cloud Sync synchronizes your files across multiple devices and cloud storage for workflows like media production or any situation in which files are being worked on in multiple locations or by multiple people. Cloud Sync might also be the best application to use if you just want an off-site copy of home media files, files that are not changing at all. Backup, however, is better for files that are often changing. In this case, you want to use Synology's Hyper Backup app. This allows you to save multiple past versions of files in case you need to roll back to an earlier point in time. We'll be working with Hyper Backup in this video, but you can find another video covering Synology's Cloud Sync app in our channel. Here's a quick overview of what we'll cover. We'll start on the Backblaze website, creating an account and an application key. Then we'll open up Hyper Backup and set up Backblaze B2 as a storage destination there. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can use the Chapters feature to quickly skip to any particular step by using the navigation element to the right of the video timer. First, we need to create a Backblaze B2 account. B2 is the cloud storage destination where you will store your NAS data. B2 is $5 per terabyte per month with no hidden fees, no tiers, and no minimum retention policies. Here we are on the Backblaze website. You can find this link in the text description below the video that says Start Now. We've also included a link to our written integration guide with screenshots if you'd prefer to follow along with the written version. Now, simply provide your email address, choose a password, and click the red button to create your account. Don't worry, you won't get billed, and there is no credit card required. We provide 10 gigabytes free for you to run a risk-free proof of concept. And then, when you're ready to activate your account, you can enter your billing details later. Now, I'll log into my new Backblaze account and create a bucket to hold the data backed up from my Synology NAS. Bucket names are globally unique in Backblaze B2, so be specific when you're naming yours. Leave the bucket set to private. You don't want anybody out on the internet to be able to see your backups. And leave the remaining settings with their defaults. Copy the bucket's endpoint. You'll need that to configure Hyper Backup. Now create an application key. The application key is what identifies Hyper Backup to Backblaze. Application key names don't need to be unique. Hyper Backup doesn't need to access anything except the bucket you just created, so you can restrict its access. Make sure you check Allow List All Bucket Names. Hyper Backup We'll get that list so you can select the bucket. Leave the other settings with their defaults and click the button to create your key. Make a copy of the key ID and the application key. Now this is very important. You won't be able to access that application key after you've created it. Okay, we've created a bucket and an application key. Let's move over to the Synology NAS. Here we are on the Synology desktop. We can see Cloud Sync and Hyper Backup. We're going to start Hyper Backup. In Hyper Backup, press the plus to create a new backup task and select Data Backup Task. Scroll down, select S3 Storage, and click Next. Hyper Backup will be accessing Backblaze B2 
via its S3 compatible API. Select custom server URL, and then paste in the endpoint from the bucket that you copied earlier. Backblaze B2 uses signature version four. Paste the key ID that you copied into access key and the application key into secret key. Now Hyper Backup retrieves a list of buckets from your account. Select the bucket you created earlier. You can edit the directory into which Hyper Backup will save backups in the bucket, but I'll just leave it with the default. You can choose to backup all of the data on the NAS or any number of directories. I'm just going to select this demo directory, which contains some of my source code. You can also choose to back up the settings of the applications running on the NAS. I'm going to skip this and just back up my data. Now I'm going to change the backup schedule so that it happens when I'm not using the NAS. By default, Hyper Backup will keep every version of your data going forward. I'm going to enable backup rotation to limit the amount of storage consumed. Smart Recycle makes efficient use of your storage. It keeps hourly versions for the past day, and then daily versions for the past month, and then weekly versions older than that. Okay, let's make a backup. There, my data's all backed up. Now let's go and have a look at it in Backblaze B2. I can see that there's 27 megabytes in the bucket. As we might expect from backup versus cloud synchronization, the files stored don't correspond to the files in my NAS. Hyper Backup is managing its own storage so it can track the changes between versions. This is another difference between synchronization and backup. With backup, you have to have a specific tool to retrieve the data. We can return to Hyper Backup and drill down into the backed up data. From here, I can drill down into my file tree and verify that everything is backed up. Now that you know how to back up your Synology NAS to Backblaze B2 with Hyper Backup, don't wait to be a victim of data disaster. If you want to know more about synchronizing your files with Cloud Sync, click on the video on the screen, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.